All right, so we've got some dirty bin water here. What I'm doing is I had uh, taken the skin off of this bowl, the hide off, and I was watching a YouTube video from a stud guy that's got a rad channel for white bone creations that shows you his process for doing DIY European mounts. And what he said is that when you when you skin that, take the hide off, the oils are going to soak back into the bone. So he likes it that if you're going to boil it and do a euro, that you need to try to keep that skin on, keep that hide on, and then basically skin it and then start doing the work. And since I had not done that, uh, what he said you could do is you could soak it, and if you soaked it for a couple days, that those oils will come back out of the bone and what that'll do is help it be more white and I didn't do that with my my Idaho bull so my Idaho bull looks pretty good um, but he's got some dark spots and I wonder if that could have helped all right filling this bad boy up we're gonna get this warmed up and throw in the elk head and start boiling okay well we've had this guy sitting here for close to a day so that water is nice and gross. All right, so nothing crazy here. I'm gonna take some plastic and some tape, uh, tape off the bases there and up a little bit higher just so that uh, we protect the color on here. All right, so we've got all the bases wrapped up there so that we do not bleach the color, but Hopefully we've got enough space, I hope. That might not be good right there, but we should be able to get all the fur and everything up off to the bases. We'll throw it in the pot now and try to boil this uh, kind of on a low rolling boil for about an hour. And then hopefully everything will just spray off with the pressure washer nice. I want to make sure that water gets up to those bases good up in here so I'm probably going to dump just a little bit more water to go up a touch higher and then I should be should be good to go all right so we're probably 30 30 40 minutes into this first soak We've got a slow, slow rolling boil there. Probably give it another, oh, 20, 30 minutes. And then we'll pull it out and pressure wash it. All right, I'm gonna to try to one hand this and show that it is about ready to spray off. So see how all that is coming off there? That is ready to spray. The steam's kind of making it hard to see, but that is ready to power wash. Yeah. We are good to go. Is it yucky? Yes. Oh, yucky, stinky. Ugh. Yeah, Dad, you need to send that back.
too is get I've got the hammer over there I just can't hold both at the same time but get in here and you're gonna want to pry pry out this ear bone because there's a lot of cartilage and stuff that sticks back to these so get in here dig these bones out on each side these things see here dig in there and pop those out and that'll help to spray some of that stuff off There's the whole thing that comes off around the base there. Uh, comes off really nice if you boil the water high enough. So it's getting pretty clean. I'm going to spray off a little bit more, but it's pretty good. Um, I'm going to go in here and break this bone out. You can see that you've got all these holes here that you can generate. And you can spray in there and get the brain out. And then I need to get the, the membrane out. Uh, get some forceps or pinchers and pull that out. I'm gonna break off, break off this bone here now. This is kind of gross, but that's the uh, brain membrane, and I ripped it out through that hole. Was able to get a hold of it and twist it out. So there it all is. Nice. All right. So I think we are good. That is nice and clean. And there's just a couple spots I'll probably run a flathead screwdriver over to get the last little bits, but looks pretty good. I'll flip it over and I've got to get in the nasal cavity just a little bit. All right, there's the front looking nice and clean, just all bone, but I've got to get in there and get that stuff. Try to pull that out and then we should be good and we'll do with do the bleach boil all right this is something new I've done this trying this time as I've got hydrogen peroxide and I couldn't find any like straight hydrogen peroxide that was stronger at the salon store but I've got this volume 40 I've already dumped four of these into the water and then I've got um, this that I'm gonna drop in there as well so then I'll probably boil the head for 20-30 oh, minutes and see how it looks. What the? That sound good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are we doing? Helping you getting the elk, get, letting the elk in there for a minute. What's it going to do to it? Pick it up. Yeah? Is it going to make it white? Yeah. Yeah. Submerge this again in the bleach solution. Oh yeah. It's not hitting the antlers. It's not hitting the antlers, so we are good. Alright, there's the final product. Looks great. Um, one guy said he actually takes just kind of a uh, sealer too and he uh, s sprays that on the skull helps so the dust doesn't sink in I'm probably gonna do that so it'll it'll lock in the color of the antlers too I don't want that brown rubbing off so that's the last step is we'll just spray a clear coat you like it hey never leave his head alone <laughs>